they want the drama Forget about what I bring to the table Those people want the drama I'm back I'm gonna learn how to do better angles one of these days But listen, this is what I got for now Just don't judge me, honey, love me, honey Okay, here we go Experimenting with the songs I did dance tracks I need some wax Oh, ow songs. I bet they did. He had more than a late night show. It was a cultural event, a true black experience, or rather, it was a mainstream entertainment show. Come on, Arsenio. Everyone went everywhere. I like Arsenio. I love it. In my teens, I and my nephew Sean, who was in middle school, Allison's first son, pay for our portions of dinner. He divided up the receipt evenly among. Sir! Who the fuck is you? If you can't pay for me and my kids, which honestly, I really don't like people paying for me anyway, because I don't need nobody to, I don't, I don't like favors, honey. I don't like nobody to say what they did for me or whatever. Nine times out of ten, listen, anytime I go to the restaurant, the, the restaurant, anytime I go to a restaurant, I make sure I got enough money to eat as well as tip. And just in case I want to splurge, or I want to pig out, or I want a little alky beverage, you know what I'm saying? Alky bevy. Then, you know what I'm saying, I make sure I got enough money for it. I don't, you know, and my child, you know, if my child is there or whatever, I make sure my child, um, my, my child might want some dessert, you know what I'm saying. I always make sure, mind you, I ain't never been on no date with my child or whatever, but if, if you know, that was to happen, even if I was in a relationship, I feel like the type of person I am, even if my man... <laughs> Took me and my son on a day as a family for us to go eat steak, which I don't even eat steak no more. I don't even eat meat right now, but whatever. Either way, if that were to happen, I still would make sure I had a little coin in my pocket uh, because I don't care. You can't trust nobody. I need to make sure that just in case you get upset with me, you get mad at me and you want to up and leave this table, I got to make sure I got enough to be able to cover us as well as the waitress, baby. I don't even go nowhere if I can't tip. I don't even get no service done if I can't tip. I don't play. But at the same time, that's just because I've worked in service and I know what that life is like. But at the end of the day, trust me. If you thought you was going to tell me, oh, your child is in middle school now. I think they should pay for their own. Goodbye. Hit the sack, Pooh. We don't need you. This ain't, this ain't for you. You ain't for us. Her mother let her spew up money to this man? Uh-uh, uh-uh. One mother I will never be is the mother that put a man before her child. Let me tell you, been through that life already in my own childhood. Will never go through that with my child. That's why when niggas want to be like, oh, you still single? Yes, bitch, because I don't just pick anybody, okay? I don't. So when God say, you know what I'm saying, yeah, then it's yeah. If God don't say that, then... Everybody got to mind their business until God do what he want to do. That's just how that go. Don't let nobody pressure you. You're a little New Yorker. Come on. Hold on, pause. I got to look up Morgan and Allison Carey. Because I have no idea what they look like. I've never seen them. Let me see. Oh, wow. Oh, they're cool. They're cute. Oh, he was actually a record producer. Wow, they're beautiful. And they're all light-skinned. She said they was, like, browner than her. They all bright as hell. That's crazy. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me finish. Why she ain't seen the rest? The job at the sports bar was a mean solid ground. Thank you, Lord. If you believe within your soul, thank you, Lord. He said she has to learn to do things by herself. I was a teen. Yo, the way that she talk about the way, <laughs> the way that she, uh, <laughs> the way that she, uh. <laughs> 
the way that she imitates her mother is so funny because I can tell with the way her mother's mouth is positioned like this, like really tight and the way she sings so rich just from that, and he shall reign for, you know, just hearing her sing that song in the opera voice, I can tell she talked with a deep voice like that, kind of like Mariah, but a little more like that. But it's just funny because Mariah's is a little bit more dramatic than what I expect. <laughs> Let me uh, do that again. Hold on. Dang, I rewind it far as hell, didn't I? This, he said, she has to learn to do things by herself. I was a teen living on my own in this thing, but I was grateful to have shoes that fit. Wait, let me make sure I'm I'm not tripping. Hold on. I wore this outfit to nearly every session. Wait. But I was grateful to have two things okay. by herself. Okay, so she is talking about her mother. <laughs> For a second, I was like, maybe she talk about Morgan because she put the deep voice on, but she's dead ass talking about her mother. Am I right? <laughs> oh, don't make me rewind it again. I can't. Come on now. My ambition, my ambition was stronger than my shame. Come on, you better preach up in here, Minister Carey. Easy for me to ask for help. I didn't want to bother or burden her. It's That's me. Cindy looked me the stripe of goatee down the center of his chin. He was dressed rock star casual. Heavy you sound black ugly. Motorcycle jacket, black jeans, black I can't stand that little thing they got going down their chin. I can't stand it. And I can't stand one of these kind of beards. Ooh. That thing get on my nerves. It just be like, um, I like the beard that be like, they go down like this and be like, eh, and then be like, you know, do a little something right here and go around there. Then the little beard just connect with it. right. But this all thick, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's flat, ow, or, or, or thick, you know what I'm saying? Just, just as long as it, you know what I'm saying? Cover the face. But some guys do look good as a mug without all that. But just don't have one of these. Just just the, the little the little line around you. It just looked like a little little chap ring. You ever you ever lick your lips so much when you was a kid that you get a little ring around your face? Okay, I'm going off subject. I'm sorry. Only you I can make it a sound. He had a thin ring in his nose and smelled how I imagined ancient Egyptian oils would smell. Ew. His face was kind and fine. With a Mariah, smell. what is your type? He went by the name <laughs> of Romeo Blue. His Ooh. friends called him Lenny. Now that's and sexy. about a year later, the world would know him as Lenny Kravitz. Oh! Maggie. No damn wonder. And Lenny Kravitz fine as hell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mariah, my bad. Okay, since you got some taste, I ain't mean that. I ain't mean that. I love me some motherfucking Lenny Kravitz. He fine as hell. Ooh, my bad, Mariah. You got you got the order taste, girl. The drummer named Tony finished. I stood perfectly still, returning back to her. I did that before, y'all. This 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 artist named Sunshine Anderson. <laughs> y'all probably know her from that song that she sing. That she be like, um, what's the song? Uh. Coming home late, it seems you barely be rubbing my shoulder, thinking you gonna get you some hot with some. Heard it all before, all of your lies. So here they was having a little uh, award show, and she was uh, look at me just drawing on stuff. Okay, sorry, um, I can't say still. Um, I was drawn. Uh, she was. Um, they was doing a little award show, and she was the um, the like tribute artists or whatever they were just doing a tribute to her and i was picked to sing for her so she was sitting at the front row and i was trying to sing and i was trying to be bad i mean honestly i really thought that you know what i'm saying i mean i thought it was kind of easy to kill her song anyway you know what i'm saying but it was just that the dad on mics kept going in and out but you know what i'm saying i still had a bomb performance she she liked it you know what i'm saying um she was she was there you know watching me sing her song you know i have the footage but 
That would have been nothing like singing for Mariah Carey. I'm sorry. I, I, but I would never sing no Mariah Carey song in front of Mariah Carey. Mariah would be like, get her out of there. And I would, I would really, like, disown myself. Heart on fire. Brenda gave me a long, flat stare. Then suddenly broke into... I didn't move, but her giggle turned into hearty laughter. My songs were valuable. Come on, Mimi. That's what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna lie. I, I've had a beautiful song one time that I literally, you know, did not want to give up. But because somebody, you know, with a name wanted it, you know, I let them. And I regretted that. Especially because it didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? But still, I regretted it. Like, don't never do that, boo. Don't never do that. Don't never do that. You too valuable and your art is too valuable. When you believe in your art like that and you know that that's supposed to be for you, that's supposed to be for you. You go, Mariah. I love how she was so sure about herself. Well, she knew who she didn't want to be, and she knew who she did want to be. She didn't understand why she was who she was or why she was, you know, placed in the situation she was placed in. Gosh, I felt like that so many times. Oh, my God. Like, this is like therapy for me a little bit. Like, Jesus, I know where I want to be. I never had another plan. Never. I've never had another plan. It's always been music that's why i went to school for massage only because i realized okay i'm st i'm getting older still and i still haven't made it to where i want to be yet i'm still not doing music as a full career i and and i gotta do something to pay these bills i got a child you know what i'm saying so okay let me go and and do massage that was random as hell also because i, I knew it was a short uh amount of school and i didn't i knew that i couldn't go back and finish my theater degree because because of a lot of reasons because it would have took at least three years and because with a child it's kind of hard to do theater at the school i was going to because you had to be at rehearsals all the time at night and all this other kind of stuff um you know what i'm saying but then i went to do hair school just because i've been doing hair all my life and that i graduated that but i still ain't i still i graduated last february it's about to be february again it's december and I still ain't go to take the test to say that I'm fully licensed. Because I ain't been doing hair. I ain't been thinking about doing hair. I've been thinking about doing this music. It's never, I've never had a plan B. Never. It's just that the older I got and the more I wasn't in the realm of, of what I've always imagined me to be. You know, I, I had to do, I had to do other stuff. I was forced to do other stuff because I knew I needed to have a backup plan. But in actuality, it wasn't a backup plan for me. It was a way to pay the bills right now, for right now. It's still temporary. All this is still temporary to me. My goal is still, till I die, my goal is still going to be to be in the music industry, to be in the acting industry, to be, you know, I was born a star. I don't care what I went through. I don't care how much weight I gained. I don't, have, I don't care how much shit people don't talk about me. Baby, I was born for this shit. And you cannot convince me different. I don't care if I did have a child young. I'm still going to make it. I don't care who doesn't believe in me. I believe in me. You know what I'm saying? Like Mariah, we can. I know we can. We can. I see it. It's really excited to finally be in the company of young and some struggling current musicians and artists. But the truth was that I had always believed that this would happen to me. Brenda never pushed me to use my songs after that. As a professional singer, going to do a big outdoor radio sponsored concert in L.A. To me, being on the radio was being famous. For the show hip hop label at the time, where he was signed. Come on, Will. Down the street, he still didn't make a thing go right. I later down, found down, out down. was Leo. I want to rock right now. I'm Rob Bates and I came to get down. Band sneakers with ribbed slouchy socks. I Van. Ensemble, my demo tape. Tommy's hand swiftly cut her off mid extension. He snatched the tape, got up, left the table, and left the party. It was bizarre and bewildering. First of all, don't steal, Matoto. And then not only that, but don't be cutting off my hand, okay? Mariah needed a friend like me back in the day, okay? Because I don't like, okay, first of all, calm down, okay? Calm down. Calm down. Okay, you might scare other people, but you don't scare me, okay? Uh, you might be a big shot and shit, it's okay, but respect, okay? Respect. Back up, back up, back up. I was handing the CD to him, so what are you doing? D would you like, use your words, would you like to hold the CD? Would you like a copy? Okay. Mariah would have been like, Ashley, 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 Dolly, calm down. I would have been like, okay, sis. 
Okay, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? That to earn respect, you gotta give it. Give it, because you're not giving it, sir. Mariah needed a me. I was like, what kind of shit is that? That was an important demo. It had some of my best songs all in your hand money. I wasn't sitting there thinking, yay, I just gave my demo to a big time record executive. The innocent looking kid in vans and slouchy socks. Come on, vans. I didn't know they was out. Girls in high heels were working so hard to get the this was the first of what would be a strange and fantastical series of Cinderella stories in my life. Okay. But I was not I'm about to end it anyway. And trust in All right, y'all. We're going to stop right here. And I will meet y'all back for part next. Okay? <laughs> See you. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay? Love you so much, Pooh. Period. Bye, guys. Logan getting his hair done right now. <laughs> We're fighting for peace. We're fighting for peace. We're fighting for unity. We're fighting for, We're fighting for love. We're fighting for justice. We are kings and queens.